Morning, how are you? Right, I just posted the status, but I, and basically the status that I put um, up was up to the effect of, you know, jumping rope, it's, it's a process. It's a whole physical process that re, uh, involves several moving pieces. You got to move your arms. You got to move your legs. You got to control this. You got to breathe. You got to make sure you can, you know, do all of these things together to make one move, to make one move, right? So the status that I posted was something about um, when you jump, you have to turn first and then you jump over the rope. And same as with your problems, you have a problem, you have to take some kind of action to get some sort of resolution. And after that, I just started thinking, I just started thinking, look, a lot of times we have things that go on in life. And some of these things are things that are, that, that, that could be meant to paralyze you, paralyze you, that could be meant to keep you stuck, that could be like, not only just physically, but mentally, but emotionally, you, you get stuck. And... I'm going to give you some personal examples. I'm just coming out. That's it. Okay. There are things about me that if people knew or at the time, if I would have really let it overcome me, I wouldn't be where I am today. The cigarettes. Smoke cigarettes, y'all. Pothead. Alcohol. I used to go to the hospital. It was at one point in my life where I used to go to the hospital every single weekend. Why? Because I was dehydrated and they used to have to take the IV, rehydrate me up, and... Uh, let me go about my business and let me tell you how why this is true. So I had applied for the police department back in 2008 ish or so and I had went through the physical testing. I passed it. I'm an athletic piece that you have to do. I passed it like I passed everything. But when it got to the mental, you know, there was like, have you ever went to the psychiatrist? And I'm like, yeah, I went because public assistance made me go. So I'm, they're like, bring us the records. So I go to Monte Fury Hospital. I look at the record and I'm like, okay, that's the end of me trying to get into the police. It just wasn't going to work. So, because I was constantly in the hospital every single weekend, whether it was Montefiore Hospital, whether it was a hospital over here, whether it was a hospital over there, I was in the hospital asking them to hydrate me. But what I can say during those times was I, I always had a job. I always had a job. I always had an apartment. <laughs> you know, I always, for the most part, took care of myself. I have three children three different dads, you know, and I say all of this, not really to put myself on front row, but to show you that all of these pieces, I should feel bad about myself. I should feel like a disgrace. I should feel like worthless. You know, I don't feel these things, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm good. I did the self help that I needed to do to overcome these things, but I did it. It was a lot of work, but I did it. I had to jump. I couldn't just stay there. Now, if I would have stayed there, right? Locked in this mentality thinking, okay, these are the things about myself. I feel this way about myself. I feel that way about myself. I'm worthless. I'm this. Like, I could have let that take me out. Matter of fact, I did almost try to take myself out. Like, I swallowed a bunch of pills back in 2000, I think. 2000 or 2001. I called my coworker. I feel bad. I still talk to him, but I called my coworker. I said, yo, dude, if I don't come to work tomorrow, I'm dead. You know what I'm saying? Called him, hung up, took a bunch of pills, sat there and waited. I was like, you know what? I don't even want to die today. Let me go to the hospital. And I went to Monte Fury Hospital and I did what I had to do. And that was the beginning of my healing. And no, just because I started the process to healing, it would take a longer process. Because then after that, there was more things. There was more things. There was more things. There was more problems. And I guess I stood there in my problems. And so finally, it was time for me to take massive action. If you don't take massive action, if you don't jump from A to B, if you don't jump over that problem, you're never going to be able to solve it. That's point blank, period. So I just came here to tell you that no matter your situation, and if, if you are wondering what jump stands for, it's the journey of the underdog making pro progress. Journey of the underdog making progress. And... I'm just talking to that female, that woman that wants to change their lives. I want to change the trajectory of their life. You have all of these moving pieces and people are calling you this name. People are calling you that name. People are calling you all kinds of names because of who you were or what you're going through right now. But I just want to let you know that there is hope. You don't have to be stuck. You do not have to be ashamed. This is your life. Live it. It doesn't matter what your past looked like. It don't matter what your present looked like. As long as you have that will to sit there and want to make a change for yourself, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. That's all I'm going to keep saying. You are good. Do not let people. And let me tell you one last story. 
like I used to go, it was a, it was a certain church I used to go to, right? And every time a woman got pregnant out of wedlock, they made they was made to feel bad. Every time this happened, they were made to feel bad. Every time that happened, they were made to feel bad. Let me tell you something. When I made the decision to go take all those pills, I made that decision in church. I was literally sitting in church. I was probably going through whatever whatever was going on because it's like during that time, no matter what I did, I could have just came from the club and went to, went home, took a shower, and went to church. Like it was just it was straight like that. And then you hear the preacher, they get in the pulpit. Oh, you going to hell? Oh, you with this? Oh, you that? And let me tell you something. If you do not have a strong mentality. The church will mess you all the way up. And I know that there are a lot of churches are making changes and progressing to move with the times now. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that they are not in the pulpit preaching things like this anymore because, like, it's just what happened. So I was sitting in church. I was feeling bad. I said, you know what? When I go home, it's over. And my friend's mom, I call her mama, right? She saw that I was not well that Sunday. And she took me all the way home. And when she left, I politely did what I wanted to do. But... My point being is that other people will make you feel bad about something in your life that you're going through. And you cannot let people do that to you. People are going to talk regardless of what you do, through the good, through the bad, through the happy, the sad. Let me tell you something. I got people probably on my timeline right now that could tell you some some horrid stories about me. And you know what? At this point, I wouldn't care because I've done the self-work. I've done what I had to do. And that's my story. That's what's going to help me help others. I'm not ashamed of my story. I'm not ashamed of my story. And as time go by, I am going to be talking about it more and more and more and more and more because you are a queen. Hold your head up, queen. Hold your head up. There is hope. There are many things that's going to make people say, oh, she shouldn't even be that confident or even to yourself because you've heard it so much from other people. You're like, yo, I shouldn't feel good about myself. Nah, feel good. You're good. Like I said, I look at everything that I've been through, all of the things, all of the things, all of the talk that's been said about me, all of the things that I did to myself, but I'm good. I am good. I am good. I did the work. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. I made my jump and this is my new mission. This is my new mission. My mission is to help women, help women, especially like us older women like in our late 30s early 40s that cannot move to the next step in our life because we're holding on to this self-worthlessness and as long as you're holding on to that self-worthlessness you're not gonna make it anywhere so you know you, you you just gotta and I'm not gonna even say get over it but you just gotta make that progress and it first starts here it first starts here that you thinking that you are more than you are more than you are more than what people are seeing you are what so what you got five different baby daddies in my case I got three so what <laughs> you know so what at, at one point I almost used to be ashamed you know somebody tried to make me feel ashamed because I had at first well when I first had my first child and then I got pregnant with the second child a family member they said to me oh this is your second child by a second man you should be ashamed of yourself and I was like OMG like I was I was I didn't feel ashamed like why should I feel ashamed but, you know, that stuff, you know, people are being made to feel ashamed because they got three different baby that So what, queen? Fix your crown. You are still worthy just as that one that stayed married to that man for 25 years and all five kids to his. You are just as worthy. Stop letting people put their negativity on your life. You don't need that in your life. You don't need that in your life. You need to be healed so that you can move on to the next level. I am done. I am done. I am done. Because I'm really thinking this thing because I really feel this thing, you know. And I am going to help other women so i want to thank you so much for tuning into this share this out and if you have any questions any concerns let me know in my inbox because i'm gonna definitely want and need your input to let me know what's the best things that i can do for you okay so man <laughs> i know I'm, I'm on fire if you have any um comments or anything that you don't want to leave here on my page leave them in my inbox because i definitely want to reach the woman that I need to reach and I know that there are women out here that's been through more than what I've been through or not even more different scenarios because what was a lot to me may be like nothing to you and what was a lot to you may be nothing to me you understand and for I'm here to help somebody else and thank y'all so much I will talk to y'all soon have a great day